Hello, everybody. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. I wanted to talk about NDI 3.5. Uh, they just recently updated the uh, distributable and the applications that goes along with NDI tools. Uh, I think it's important because Scan Converter you can use to capture your gameplay audio on your uh, gaming PC and then send it over your network to your streaming PC. It's a great way to capture video without having to spend a lot of money on a capture card. But the problem was, is a lot of people are having issues with it. And so uh, this is a new update. I think it's a lot more stable, a lot more efficient, and uh, it has even more functionality than the original one did. So what you need to do is let me switch over here. And you can go and do a search for NDI tools. And this link right here, you'll go to that. And it'll take you to the NDI tools page and down at the bottom, you can find a download link for Windows or Mac. Okay, they're both supported. Uh, now, Windows comes with a little bit more apps than what Mac does. So just click the download link and you'll fill out your information here if this is your first time. You don't, uh, you have to fill out the stuff here that says it's required. But when you download it, um, it will run an executable. Okay, that executable will then install both the, re the distributable, okay, and the NDI tools on your gaming PC. Now, just to give you a heads up, okay, you should install this on both the gaming PC and the streaming PC so that you can have the distributable on both of them. Update the 3.5 also on the stream PC. That way, Streamlabs OBS and, and we'll integrate it and work better with it, okay? And for Streamlabs OBS to work with NDI, you have to have the redistributable installed anyway. So, uh, so just go ahead and do this on both of them, and then when you run Streamlabs OBS, then you're good to go. So download it, and when you install it, okay, you will have a bunch of these apps that you that you uh, will have. And what we're going to look at here is Scan Converter, okay? So Scan Converter is uh, the app that you'll use to capture gameplay video and audio. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to my gaming PC. There it is. All right, so <clears throat> now I'm running Scan Converter. You can see it right here in the lower right-hand corner in the uh, Quick Launch menu. All right, so if you right-click on it, Okay, this is where you control it from, and you have all these different options for frame rate. Uh, you have capture settings, you have audio source, you have even webcam video and audio. Which this is a brand new thing. Okay, you weren't able to do this before. It's pretty cool. All right, so capture settings by default. This is automatically capturing every display adapter that you have feeding on your PC for your gaming PC. Okay. Uh, or if you have it installed on your stream PC, it'll capture all displays there. For me, I have two displays on my gaming PC, so I uh, can see both of those, and it's capturing and sending over the network automatically. Okay, a lot of people had questions with that before, and that's, so that's that's you know what's happening. Um, you also have the ability to capture your mouse pointer, which I just clicked on. You also have the ability to choose. A region of interest so if I want to do a region of interest first of all you need to click on our configure ROI and let me bring my stream PC up so you can then uh, see that all right so here is what the ROI uh, frame looks like and this is fully adjustable you can do all this stuff here you want to do and it will show a specific region within that window so I'm gonna move it down here and then let me switch back to my NDI feed. And now, there you go. So this is now that region. So you can right click on this. And then you can see all the different things that are happening. And this is almost simultaneous, which is really nice. So we've talked about frame rate. We've talked about the capture settings. Um, if you just want your display, just don't have the region of interest checked. And it'll switch back to your full display. Okay, but you also have webcam and audio. So if you have a webcam installed in your game PC, it should show up here. You select it. That will be a separate NDI source that it will now send over your network. And then you could make a source in OBS on your streaming PC 
for your webcam instead of having it plugged directly into your uh, uh, streaming PC. Likewise, this audio source, if you have the webcam selected, then this becomes active and you can choose an audio source, any Windows audio source, not just the webcam audio, but you can choose like your microphone, for instance, if you want to do that. But remember, the audio source is slave to your webcam, so you have to have that selected. You just can't send microphone audio over. Uh, the audio source here, by default, is going to be on silence. But I recommend you switching it to system audio, which will be all of your Windows audio, gameplay audio, that sort of thing. Uh, the default playback devices that you have set in Windows will come through system audio. Okay, so a lot of people are asking me, well, why can't I send my microphone and and the gameplay well that's not really designed that way uh you're only designed to choose one audio source out of this list not both i would recommend you actually put your microphone on your streaming pc that way you can have your direct input to your microphone to obs and all that stuff and then if you want to send it back to your gaming pc and use something like voice meter banana which i have a lot of videos on that'll show you how you can get uh, your microphone over to your gaming PC using your internal network, much like how this works. Okay, using the sort, same sort of uh, uh, protocols. And they use this thing called V-Band. So I got a ton of videos on that. Watch that, and I think you'll you'll like that. Uh, but if you if you're serious about just having your microphone, then you could kind of use this workaround with a webcam if if that's what you would like to do. Other than that, there's really not much else to Scan Converter. It's pretty self-explanatory. It works pretty well, as you can see, and I do like it a lot. I uh, I tested it here a couple days ago and streamed with it for four and a half hours straight, and it did not have a single hiccup. I streamed at 1080p 60 at 6 uh, megabits or 6,000 uh, bit rate, and the stream looked great. So I would even venture to say the NDI looks as good, if not better, than your Elgato capture card or your Evermedia capture card that you may have. Or uh, I've done a side-by-side -side comparison, and I'm telling you, NDI look is great. Uh, the new protocol, the new update that they've done has really just made it more efficient. It's made it more reliable, uh, and it's, you know, I love it. I cannot say enough about NDI. All right, so let me switch back over to the gaming PC, or the uh, streaming PC now. I'm going to show you how to set up this for receiving uh, NDI. Let me get rid of these real quick, and I'll just go step by step, and we'll build an NDI source. All right, so let's go to sources, and you can click on the little plus sign right here, and it'll bring up the source list. And down at the bottom right right here is NDI source. So it's really simple. Just click on that. Hit add source. You can name it whatever you like. Um, I'm going to leave this as NDI source, and... Here is the list. So here is my two different displays for my desktop. Okay, that I was telling you about. It's sending both of them simultaneously by default. And I really don't have any control over it. It's just doing it. Okay. And as you can see, it has now brought up my gaming PC monitor uh, right here. Display number one, which is my gaming. And you can see here I'm running around and doing all the stuff on it. Uh, so it's really that simple. Uh, if your webcam was showing up on there, your webcam would be listed in that list. If you want to have your webcam show up, and let me do this real quick, just, just because I can do this, and I'll show you that it works. Because I do have Scan Converter installed on here, too. And I'll run that. And then I will enable my webcam. And let's do the, uh, i got two of them. I'll do the LifeCam 5000. And then I'll go make an NDI source. We'll call it just, I'm just going to leave it as NDI source one just for this tutorial. I'll add that source and then I'll go down and it should, you know, you can see my two displays for my streaming PC and then now you can see my webcam. And then there you go. There is my, whoop, there is my webcam. And it's nice. And you can see it's zero latency. Now my microphone is on my streaming PC. The, the webcam is there. It's an NDI feed over my network, and it's actually internalized. But anyway, you see it works, uh, and it works great. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. So, hey, pretty nice little nifty trick there. And uh, I was going to tell you about the uh, audio. So here, if you go to webcam audio source, there's your list now that you can choose 
uh, different sources that are, you know, that Windows sees and including my microphone right here, okay, that you can now send over to. So, yeah, that's it. That's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it was, uh, it's a lot of fun working with NDI. I've enjoyed it a lot. And I know a lot of people have had issues with it. And I'm not going to say that you're not going to have issues with this one either. If you continue to have issues with this, then I would recommend you use OBS Studio to capture and send over your network. And then you can use Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio on your streaming PC to capture the NDI feed coming in and then making a source. Uh, right now, Streamlabs OBS does not support game capturing and then sending as an NDI feed over your network. It can only receive it. Okay, Streamlabs OBS, the plugin that uh, Pulaskis built for OBS Studio, does both. Okay, so that's why I recommend you using OBS Studio to capture and send it, and then using Streamlabs OBS to receive it and make a source. All right, that is it, guys. Have a great week. I do appreciate it. A couple things. I am now a Streamlabs affiliate. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in using Streamlabs OBS, or even if you have used it, there is a link down in my description for my affiliate program. Click on that link. It will send you straight to an OBS, uh, a Streamlabs OBS download. If you click on that, you install it. I do get a little bit of money for it. Uh, now I would ask you that you watch the videos. If you do enjoy this and it has helped you out, then, uh, that's a way to say thanks is by going down and clicking it. It does not cost you anything other than a left click. And in turn, it gives me 50 cents for every click for each unique, uh, install. So thank you guys in advance for that. I do appreciate it. Uh, I do have a stream deck giveaway coming up here soon. We are closing to, I think I got 750 subscribers left before we hit 5,000. At 5,000 subscribers, I will be giving away an Elgato Gaming Stream Deck to one of you lucky subscribers. So I do appreciate it. I will be doing that giveaway, and uh, I'll probably do it through Gleam.io. But I do appreciate everybody for your support. It's been wonderful this last seven months just seeing my literally seeing my channel double in size you know from 2000 in december now to over 4000 getting ready to be 5000 here probably toward the end of august the way things are looking so anyway guys thank you very much for that i do appreciate it. i hope this video helped you out hit the like hit the subscribe hit the notifications this is the frugal streamer be good and we'll see you later bye bye